Hello friends, here we are hanging out in Lizzie's room with the familiar faces, which means of course I've brought back a familiar face to catch up with here on this show. That's a dance I did about it. Check out my Patreon. You can support me and get access to longer versions of these episodes as well as other exciting content. My name is Ashley Clements. My name is Mary Kate Wiles. On the look back, looking on back together, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. None of my guests have sung lately. And <laughs> frankly, it's been sad. I'm like, you're welcome. But do you want to make up a song? Yeah, we're back with at Lizzie's room after two months away, during which Lydia was off having her own adventures. Yeah, she sure was. What's so funny is someone commented, because this is your second episode back, on Maine, and somebody <laughs> commented something about how Lizzie clearly not watching Lydia's show means that she doesn't know about all the like pain and suffering that Lydia's been through. And I was like, oh, you're thinking of like later, like when, when Wickham comes in. And then I was like, wait, what does happen in this stretch of, of the it's Lydia Bennett? And I like also... went back and looked and I was like... I was like, oh, so what fraught? Yeah. yeah, yeah, it begins. But so, yes, Lydia's maybe just been having some, you know, friendship struggles and feeling like people don't yeah. like me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whereas for all of the things that Lizzie's going through, she is not worried that people don't like her. Interesting. <laughs> she has some of the wrong people liking her, <laughs> as far as she is concerned. It's an interesting dynamic to have her back summer friends the sisters and oh i'm not even in this episode i was like let's take a look at their relationship no this is you're the queen oh yeah <laughs> i'm i'm queen <laughs> yeah you are um me and we'll Laura, talk about that one is... in a couple episodes but this is all you baby a very iconic episode Woo here we go oh boy That I don't oh, still have. And forget about the milestones. My name is Lydia Bennett, and this is episode 69. <laughs> oh, we're making. We're making. Is that like. No, I was going to say, is that like the most sex joke we make? But no, Lydia makes a no, bunch there's... of stuff. That is cute. There's though. more. <laughs> well, sh well, sure, in this, but I mean, we also like started the show with Man Banana. Like, that's true. Like yeah, they're usually coming from Lydia. Yeah. Yeah. I was also shooting uh, a second season of Squaresville at the same time as this. Um, is that, are you, are you referencing like this exact hair color? Yep, that's why my hair looks like that. Uh, you are a very exciting, adorable me. I think this is the only time you play me, but we do need to discuss how adorable Laura looks in this uh, oh. little. Yeah. I remember that we were like, Lydia's gonna put Jane in her full outfit. Like she's not just yes. costume theatering. Yes. She is in costume. <laughs> This is some of Laura's <laughs> and finest work we're about to see. Agreed. Agreed. Did you fun? Oh boy, I like to see her like contemplating like, should I do it? <laughs> and I'm like, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh love that Lydia just loves it <laughs> what but it's like she feels seen you know I feel seen yeah like because also like she's not mocking like she's no enjoying it's a celebration yeah yeah <laughs> yeah see because like Lizzie's impersonation probably would have been me. Yes, much more mocking, yeah. 
I remember that torture. people got mad about this episode in a way we were so not expecting. What did they get mad about? I can't remember this whole business. That okay, I was like well. trying to tell Jane and not be friends with. I don't know. I don't remember. That one missed me of all our controversies. You know, <laughs> sure. Like, there's a conversation to be had about like how aware of what's happening in the fandom should we even be? <laughs> oh, that's a great conversation. I think we learned some lessons. Yeah. We learned some lessons, and uh, <laughs> yeah, we can we can revisit that. Um, but I also was really thrown, like knowing that this episode was gonna happen at some point, and I, for some reason, had forgotten. Obviously, that it's episode sixty nine, and I was I was like, "Summer friends, it will happen in the summer." Mm, yeah. But no, we're talking about people in the past because it's December that this aired. Yeah, so you know, weird. which is. Well, past yeah. summer. And I hope everyone gets a happy ending. <laughs> and that was episode 69. <laughs> <laughs> this is a real return to form for Lydia. Do you for feel Lydia? like, like, she's like her full exuberance is back. Like there's a, a, it seems like a real kind of like joyful place. Uh, do you think that yeah. she is? doing better being back with her sisters I mean that is kind of what she was just saying right like yeah we're better together yes I think she likes that and you know the the sadness that we see on the arc of Lydia videos that just happened while still certainly alive in her she did she and Mary worked out their issues at the end of the yes. arc and mm -hmm. you know so there's she's feeling a little better as far as that goes I guess but, you know, so always ready to put on a face for Lizzie's audience and be indeed, who she needs to be. Indeed. Well, and it's funny, I was telling you before we rolled that my memory, my incorrect memory is that like the whole month of December was sort of like filler in as much as like there wasn't a lot of plot other than our fight. And I've been looking back and realizing that's wrong. Other than like the Christmas episode, like stuff happens in all of them. But this is mm -hmm. kind of like a more character development episode. And so is the next episode. The next one is New Jane, and it's kind of Jane filling us in on what's been going on with her. And mm -hmm. it is catching the audience up with, like, beloved characters that they haven't seen as much. And, you know, yeah. we know from the numbers that no, no one engaged with not no one not everyone engaged with not a the single whole, person not a single person watched this show. <laughs> we know because the lydia bennett numbers still trail behind the lizzie yes. or lizzie bennett that not everyone went on the full journey with all the spin-offs yeah. uh and i would argue and have argued and will continue to argue that the one that has the most impact on the plot is the lydia I mean, again, like, it, I think the writers did a, a very good job in making it possible to enjoy the story, the main story, without mm -hmm. seeing the side perspective. But when you add that in, the story gets richer mm -hmm. and deeper and better and, and more kind of impactful, even. I agree. Obviously, we, uh, we, we think you should watch the spinoffs. But for those who were just following on main... <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to see these people again right us. well and even if you were watching the spinoffs like now we get to see people come back together mm -hmm. we do always on the lizzie bennett diaries for the purpose of it being able to continue to exist as a standalone show have right. to put all of the plot elements on this show and that does mean like and character development and catching up with characters is as important as the plot and like sort of the, the purpose of the plot right <laughs> it's like not just that things happen but that people change <laughs> and of course it's it's a bit of comedy like this is one of our funniest episodes i think like you know so it's we pretty have fun to have the because laura is such a uh champion it's such an costume theater actor Everything she does is great. It's interesting because, like, this is 
I mean, it's not the only time that you play uh, Lizzie, but you're playing Lizzie on Lizzie's channel, obviously, but like without Lizzie in the room. And it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's not even your meanest version of Lizzie. <laughs> you're just like, I'm nerdy. I like books, but, <laughs> but I'm thinking of the like, when else? One yeah. What are you thinking of? I play Darcy and we're like dancing. We're dancing. And you're like so mean. <laughs> But so it all feels in good fun. And then yeah. getting to see, I, I mean, honestly, I think aside from the brilliant impression, it's such a, a great acting choice that Laura made that, that Jane is like, am I going to do this? Like, am I going to uh -huh. make, okay, I'm going to do it. And then of course it's delightful because she had something that we all loved for her to then do it, this impression of like it, all the, all the pieces work. So. It's also the only time there really is Lydia costume theater. I think one other. It's point, the only time. You, That's true. Yeah, you like kind of do a quick. I Lydia do a voice. Impression. Yeah, but I but never. I don't think have a we costume. ever. And I think that's part of why we decided to just put her in my whole outfit because there was no established like Lydia costume theater prop or anything. Um, yeah, and I was like, well, I feel like Lydia would make her go put on her full like <laughs> clothes all of her clothes no I love that I love that yeah there's one episode it was in the Collins and Collins arc where I'm reading a text oh Lydia, yeah 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 and P I do PQZ like, PQZ yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 let's take a look at what the oh yeah I forget that we do that it's a fun part Lily's says Jane playing Lydia is almost as good as Jane playing Darcy mm -hmm. yeah it's true Kitty Grimm says of course Lydia would hijack the 69th episode of course yes that is yes that we are nothing if not predictable there. sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Juliana Pimentel says, I think the different ways Lizzie and Jane play Lydia really says something about Ooh. how they view her. Lizzie seems to play a more OMG party side of Lydia, while Jane is a lot more super excited, always happy, and seems to realize how much Lydia secretly looks up Aww. to her. I don't know. That's very astute and sweet. As we were just saying, there's never like a full costume theater mm -hmm. for Lizzie, but, but absolutely that is how Lizzie kind of impersonates her and and thinks of her mm -hmm. christine stevenson mm -hmm. says jane acting all nervous before she acts as someone else and then worrying about if she hurt her feelings with the portrayal way too adorable <laughs> oh caroline bandera oh. says i hope you guys listen to me my heart was broken oh um, even in this just wait <laughs> light episode I yeah you think it's broken now <laughs> that's a rewatch so you yeah I maybe don't know. Or Probably. just the feeling of being dismissed. Hmm? Yeah. Kathleen Villanueva, we work best just us. Not the biggest Lydia fan, but that made me sob. She's an annoying little sister, but she was obviously sad and seeing those people hurt her beloved big sisters. Jane is the best at costume theater for reals. Those are separate thoughts. That's so interesting. Like, I don't know that I... Yeah, but who? even this episode about sisterhood touched people. Because uh, we'll discuss... But there are episodes to come about sisters that we have heard a lot of feedback about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Well, you'll be back, in fact, for us in just a few moments. So uh, mm. why don't we say goodbye to them for now? Any special words of wisdom for episode 69? Oh, goodness. You know, nobody could say it better than Lydia herself. So That's true. Nope. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> it does also like it's a sex joke and it all plays so innocently as well like it it's yeah. also like she's giggling it like feels, a school kid yeah it feels very like immature in a like yeah like she still feels very young here in this yeah yeah and sort of titillated by even saying yeah haha -ha. yeah ha 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 she's mm -hmm. a cutie all right stick around for more not you you should the video will end so <laughs> <laughs> I'm good at this.